And now a Sesame Street news flash. We understand that some unfortunate piggies have just been left homeless. We take you now live to our reporter on the scene, Kermit the Frog. Hi ho, this is Kermit the Frog and Hi ho, this is Kermit the Frog and I am standing here beside the homes, or should I say the former homes of the three little pigs. And, uh, oh, look, here comes one of these pigs right now. Uh, uh, excuse me, pig. Uh, pardon me, pig. Uh, pig, uh, Kermit the Frog here of Sesame Street News. I was wondering, I see that your house, which was made of straw, was uh, virtually uh, doesn't exist anymore. Can you tell our audience how you feel about that, please? Can I tell you how I feel about that? Mm -hmm. Wow, what kind of dumb question is that? I'm angry. That's how I feel about that. How would you feel if some big whoop came along and hopped and puffed and blew your house down, huh? Angry. That's how you feel. Yes, oh, okay, you angry. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that's, uh, that's one angry pig as well he might be. And uh, looking a little further here, I think here comes another pig. Uh, uh, pardon, uh, pardon me, pig. Uh, uh, pig, I see that your house, which was made of sticks, uh, uh, was virtually demolished. Uh, can you tell our viewers how you feel about that, please? <laughs> how do I feel? How can you be so cruel as to ask me that? Uh, my house is in rubble here, and you ask me how I feel? Mm -hmm. Sad, that's how I feel. Oh, you news persons. How would you feel if some big wolf came by and blew and huffed and puffed on your lily pad, huh? How would you feel? Uh, well, I, I guess I would feel sad, sad too, uh, right. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, sad it is. Sad. Uh, Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, there goes one sad pig, but uh, there seems to be another house left standing here, and this house here, which is made of bricks, and there is one of the pigs left no, out there. No, uh, no, Muffin, um, Muffin, tell them to put the satellite dish I, on I'm the sure other side of the squash court. This is the owner court. of the brick house, uh, uh, which seems to be just fine. Uh, pardon me, pig. Uh, mm -hmm. I was wondering if you could tell our audience how you feel about your house sitting here nice and solid and strong. Oh, well, well how do I feel? Mm -hmm. Why, I feel... Proud. Proud. <laughs> well, yes, proud. It took a long time to build this house. It is the strongest house on the block. And the old wolf couldn't blow this down if he tried to. Yes, I'd say I feel very, very proud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. oh, well, fellas, what seems to be the problem? Oh, my house got blown in. Mine, too. <laughs> oh, gee, my house is still standing just fine. Whoa. Say, why don't you fellas join me and Muffin for a little while? Really? Yes, she just made some lemonade. We could have a couple of drinky poos by the pool. Hey, that makes me happy. Oh. That makes me happy, too. Mm, don't fall into the conversation well, uh... pit. It looks like en everybody ended up uh, feeling nice and happy. So this has been Kermit the Frog reporting to you on the emotional state of the three little pigs, two of whom were left temporarily homeless as a result of some serious huffing and puffing from an alleged large wolf. What do you mean alleged? Uh, uh, well, I mean... <laughs> this is Kermit the Frog signing off! Ah.